There. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I call this um, SMUD board meeting of directors of May 7th, 2015 to order. Please join me in the pledge to the flag. Please put all electronic devices in the silent mode while in the auditorium. Uh, members may speak to items on the agenda which the board will take action and may also address the board on other agenda items and items not on the agenda but within our jurisdiction during the general comment period. You'll have three minutes to present your comment. Please remember to direct your comments to the board. Public comments are not intended to be a question and answer period. At this time, we give uh, our customers an opportunity to speak on items not on the agenda on which the board will take no action and items not on the agenda but within our jurisdiction. Um, we have one speaker slip tonight, Mr. Mark Graham. Good evening, Mr. President, directors, and staff. My name is Mark Graham, and I live in Elk Grove. Hopefully you, uh, you received my email today that Ms. Lesh forwarded to you and you all had a chance to read it. I'm going to read part of it because the public hasn't heard it. As directors of a municipal utility, you are supposed to be working for the public. You have no stockholders to serve. You have no higher master to serve other than your customers. That includes the general manager and CEO. You do not work for him. He works for you. You make the policy and he implements it. I don't know what's going on with this board of directors, but it may be that you came under the influence of the previous general manager and CEO who seemed to hold this board in the palm of his hand and control it, and it may be that that is carried over to the current general manager and CEO. In any case, you do not work for him. He works for you. It is very important for this board to realize this and act that way. This is not just a philosophical issue. It is the basis for the board's manner of conducting itself. The health and safety of your customers and employees must be your highest priority, higher than your allegiance to the international smart meter agenda. If there is a culture at SMUD of ignoring the customers so as to deny the public our input into SMUD policy, sort of like the blue code of silence in many police departments whereby police officers look the other way and, never, and cover up each other's crimes, then that must change. It appears the board needs to recommit or commit for the first time to the customers, to the health and safety of your customers, and to working with your customers to find ways to reduce our exposure to dangerous microwave and radio frequency radiation. The board has already acknowledged in resolution 13-03-08 that it is the customer's right to make these decisions about whether to protect their health. It is time for, and I'm speaking of, that was the resolution that allowed customers to have their smart meter removed from their house, which they never asked for, never consented to, and to have an analog electric meter in its place. It is time for SMUD to inform and notify all customers effectively and repeatedly that they have this right and to inform them that there are many peer-reviewed scientific studies showing that smart meter radiation is hazardous and none showing that smart meter radiation is safe. We have been over this with this board many, many times. We have asked for the scientific studies that you should have had before giving everybody a smart meter, and the only answer really we've gotten is from Director Slayton, and he says, don't ask us, ask the Federal Communications Commission. That is a dodge, and that is not the answer. You have a responsibility to make policy, like I said, that protects the health and safety of your customers. Last question, why are some board meetings at 6 o'clock in, in the evening and other meetings are only at 5? Thank you, Mr. Graham. You're welcome. Next, we have Melissa Andrews. Uh, Mr. President, board members, and staff, my name is Melissa Andrews. People from coast to coast across the United States and from one side of the world to the other are becoming ill after exposure to the radiation, uh, radio frequency radiation emitted by smart meters. In March 2015, two studies specific to the physical effects from smart meters were released, one in the United States and the other in Victoria, Australia. One Australian researcher observed that the rollout of smart meters constitutes an unprecedented health challenge. Interestingly, the vast majority of the Australian cases 
indicated they had not been sufferers of electromagnetic hypersensitivity prior to their exposure to these meters. This points to the possibility that smart meters may have unique characteristics that lower people's threshold to symptom development. These surveys do not tell us how likely an individual is to become symptomatic after exposure, but they do validate for us what a symptomatic person may experience. A symptom, of course, is something that can be sensed by an individual and thus serve as a warning. Unfortunately, many health effects caused by radio frequency radiation have no early symptoms and thus give no warning. These health, health effects become evident only when the harm has been done and include DNA damage, cancer, and reproductive damage. Symptoms in the two surveys are grouped differently, but many of the clusters are similar enough to allow comparison. Of the top seven symptom clusters in both surveys, six are similar in description and nearly identical in the order of occurrence. First being sleep disruption, followed by headaches, ringing or buzzing in the ears, fatigue, loss of concentration, memory, or learning ability, and, and disorientation, dizziness, or loss of balance. Do any of these sound familiar? Statistical testing show the top health symptoms are positively associated with EMF sensitivity and the installation of wireless meters. Once again, symptomatic individuals are the canaries in the mine, warning us of a serious problem, as do the declarations you've heard over the past three years. So smart meters are a national trend. Well, let's say conformity is doing what everybody else is doing regardless of what is right. However, morality is doing what is right regardless of what everyone else is doing. Thank you. Thank you. Having completed the agenda and seeing no further business, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>